Hello, this is Matthew Harrington with Dell Technologies. Today I'm going to go over the tool Dell Command Monitor, which is a component of the Dell Client Command suite of tools and how it integrates into SCCM. If you open up a browser and go to dell.com forward slash command, you'll get to the splash page of all of our free tools. The Microsoft Configuration Manager plugs into SCCM and adds a series of buttons up to the ribbon depending on what part of SCCM you're in. The tool we're focused on today is under Hardware Reporting called Dell Command Monitor. You could download this, and once it's downloaded, <clears throat> you'll have an EXE similar to this one based off version number. When you run this, you have two choices. You could install it or you could explode it. In my case, I exploded it and you get all of these other files right here. You get the standalone MSI that you can create an application out of and deploy. But the file that I want to focus on is the MOF file. This is what gets imported into SCCM. So in your SCCM environment, under Administration, Client Settings, if you come into your settings, click on Hardware Inventory, Set Classes, Import, and then point it to that MOF file. I've already done this. And it will import that MOF file in all the settings. And then you'll see all of the DCIM information here. So SCCM is now aware of what this information is. The second step is you have to deploy Dell Command Monitor to your Dell computers. Once it's installed on each computer, when the machine turns on, it queries the system, gathers information, and it sends that up to SQL. If you have integrated the DCCS tools into SCCM, under Applications, you would have this particular button, the Dell Command Software Gallery. And when you run this, it goes out to Dell and gives you access to the tools. So you could download Dell Command Monitor. Or if you don't have this integrated, you could explode it and then you have the MSI file right there that you can create your own package out of. But once you run this particular tool, you would go next, 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 which I've already done. And then you'll see that you have the software downloaded. You could then deploy this to the collection of your choosing. Once you've imported the MOF file, downloaded and deployed Dell Command Monitor to your computers, when they start checking in, they'll populate SQL. So you can see here in our SQL database, you have all of the DCIM information, including a warranty information. But you could scroll down here and you can see it adds an enormous amount of information. And to show you what it looks like on the clients, on the left I have a machine where DCM has not been installed and I started Resource Explorer. So you can see here is what that looks like. The machine on the right has DCM installed, and you can see all of the different pieces of information that DCM has gathered. One in particular is the BIOS enumeration key. This gets a great deal of information about the BIOS, which I'm going to dive into a little deeper here in a moment. For reporting, it's easy to key on a lot of the uh, DCM data. I had mentioned the BIOS enumeration information that Dell enters in the SQL. You could create your own custom report, and you could look for any type of information that you want that the enumeration key returns. Example, if I want to look for the wake on land status, I could come here. I could take wake, wake on land is right here. I could say view report. It takes a moment to run. 
I'm in a lab environment, so obviously there's only a few machines here. But you can see it has the attribute, wake on land, the current value, the possible values, and then what each value relates to. So here we could find out that I have two machines and wake on land is disabled. I could then create a collection based on that and push out a package that could enable that for me. A package that we could use is another free Dell tool called Dell Command Configure, which could manipulate the BIOS at that level. You could also get warranty information, since DCM also collects that. And then you can find out <clears throat> when the warranty expired on a particular system. This is most beneficial for very large environments. If you have a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand endpoints, knowing when the warranty expires could be very useful information. One of the most powerful features of DCM is it actually monitors hardware and will report on potential failures or things that have failed. So you could be very proactive using this tool when it's integrated into SCCM. Example, you could create a collection that looks for a particular health state of fans. If you have several laptops, for example, and the fan is running very, very high, yet the end user is not doing anything to really tax the system, DCM is going to capture the health state of the fan. It's going to report that up to SCCM, and then you can create collections based off the health state information. And I'll show you really quick how easy it is to gather the information. You can create a query. You edit the query. And then you can see here all of the different information that you could create collections off of. You see all of the same DCIM information for the collections. So you can create highly customizable collections that are looking for specific information about specific hardware, whether it's the fan, the hard drive, RAM, things of that nature. Then the last part I wanted to touch on was how DCM could also be manipulated from a command line using PowerShell. All of these different commands right here are actually in the documentation that are on dell.com forward slash command and then the Dell command monitor download page. You could change the BIOS password. You could also get you know information on any type of hardware data that you want, whether it be the fan, the battery. You could also find out each class that you could actually query information against. DCM will write to the local event log as well if it does find information. So you could also query the event log using PowerShell or other command line scripts that you have. So when you integrate it into SCCM, it becomes a very, very powerful tool. In the larger environments, it becomes even more useful because you can get very, very granular with the information that you collect off of our hardware. Hopefully this video was useful. Thank you.